In Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, when Harry and Ron visit Professor Slughorn for an antidote to a love potion, Ron falls off a couch he was standing on. This wasn't scripted. Rupert Grint genuinely fell. In Napoleon Dynamite, there is a scene where Napoleon tries to hop a fence but falls over onto the other side. John Heater genuinely fell during this shot, and the filmmakers chose to keep it in the final cut. Regina? Regina? What are you doing here? According to the DVD information for Black Knight, one of the female lead, Jeanette Wegar's face plants, was completely unintentional, but was kept in the film because it looked impressive. <laughs> in Gettysburg, Stephen Lang was actually thrown from his horse during the filming of Pickett's Charge. The fall was kept in the movie to show Pickett realizing how bad things were for his men. In There's Something About Mary, when Ben Stiller's character is being loaded into the ambulance, the paramedics accidentally drop the stretcher as they place it into the back. This was actually a genuine mistake. Ted! He was masturbating! In Mad Max 2, the road warrior, the thug who gets sent flying after crashing into the car during the truck chase wasn't scripted, but the shot looked so impressive that it was kept in the final cut. What are you... Who the f in Red State, Stephen Root genuinely stumbled and fell during the scene, where John Goodman yells at him to get back to the car. He was taken aback by Goodman's loud performance. In Follow That Camel, the scene where Bo's leg gets caught in the camel's harness and he falls was a complete accident. Peter Butterworth improvised by shooing the camel with his umbrella, seizing the moment for added comedy. Damn it, I'll never get used to that! I expected the back end to go down first. In Scrooged, Bill Murray's fall while leaving the restaurant wasn't scripted. Earlier in the scene, he had thrown water on the waiter, and he accidentally slipped on it as he walked out. In Dumb and Dumber, Jeff Daniels slips and nearly falls while walking back to Jim Carrey after talking to Mary at the party. Jim briefly looks concerned, but they both stay in character and continue the scene. Relax. In The Outsiders, when Dallas falls out of his chair at the drive-in, it was completely accidental. Ponyboy can be seen briefly looking at the camera while laughing. You're still here? In Ferris Bueller's Day Off, Matthew Broderick throwing Mia Sarah into the pool after pushing Cameron was unscripted. Her surprise screams were real, and director John Hughes kept the playful moment in the final cut. In Dr. Strangelove, George C. Scott, while passionately urging the president to launch an attack, accidentally trips and falls, but quickly recovers and continues. Director Stanley Kubrick kept the moment, as it matched the film's absurd tone perfectly. President, we're wasting valuable time. Look at the big boy. They're getting ready to clobber us. In Police Academy, during the scene where Barbara is floating downriver in the camera booth, the booth nearly flips over just before it passes under the bridge. This was unplanned and almost happened for real, although the camera cuts right before the trip occurs. In 1917, while Schofield is running along a trench, an extra accidentally bumps into George McKay and trips him. The soldier thought he had ruined the shot and lay there in embarrassment, but McKay quickly recovered and kept running. This unscripted moment added to the scene's intensity and made it feel more genuine. In Tropic Thunder, when Tug nearly falls into the river while crossing alone, Ben Stiller genuinely tripped and it was kept as well. In Maverick, Annabelle's clumsiness originated from Jodie Foster's first scene, where she waited for Mel Gibson to help her down from the stagecoach. Instead, he took her parasol and walked away, leaving her to awkwardly flop to the ground. Director Richard Donner loved it so much that he kept it in and added more scenes of Foster stumbling and getting tossed around. In Pirates of the Caribbean, on Stranger Tides, while Jack runs through the jungle, he trips and falls. Johnny Depp stayed in character by striking the hole with his sword as soon as he got back up. In The Birdcage, 
Robin Williams' slip and fall during the shrimp scene was unplanned. It's okay. Williams genuinely fell, and you can see him, Hank Azaria and Dan Futterman holding back laughter. Damn it! Fuck the shrimp! In RoboCop, Sage Parker's head technician character was not intended to fall over after giving RoboCop a New Year's kiss at the researcher party. However, it fits perfectly with the overall merriment, so the moment was kept in the film. In Fun with Dick and Jane, the scene where Jim Carrey misses his step while climbing down from a light fixture and crashes onto the floor is memorable. He quickly gets back up and grabs the printout he was after, and this moment was kept in the film. In Fargo, there's an early scene where Frances McDormand slips a bit on ice as she walks over to inspect a car that's gone off the road. The actors stay in character, and the actor playing Lou adds, Watch your step, Margie. In Thelma and Louise, the scene where Daryl slips and falls on the builder's supplies while leaving for work was unscripted. Christopher McDonald genuinely lost his footing. Despite the stumble, he stayed in character, shouting at the workman as he got into the car and drove away. Christ, I gotta get to work. I need this bullshit in the morning. In True Lies, Jamie Lee Curtis's slip and fall during the stripper dance wasn't scripted, prompting Arnold Schwarzenegger to jump up to check on her. She quickly got back up and continued dancing, causing him to sit back down. In another scene during the ending dance, Helen slips and falls again. Curtis was so exhausted from rehearsals and filming that she could no longer hold herself up. Admiral, David is dead. In Star Trek III, The Search for Spock, when Kirk learns the Klingons have killed his son, he is so shocked that he misses his chair and falls to the floor. The director wasn't sure if it was an improvisation by William Shatner or an accident, but he felt it worked well for the scene and kept it in. In Jurassic Park, when Gennaro runs into the bathroom and backs up and lands on the toilet, Martin Ferraro actually did land on the toilet which Spielberg kept in due to its authenticity. In Movie Mash, during the opening credits, a stretcher bearer trips and falls while carrying a wounded soldier from the helicopter pad. This was a real, unscripted accident caught on film. In John Wick 3, when Keanu Reeves slips while getting up after fighting the raid guys, it was an unscripted moment. He genuinely slipped but got back up and kept going, and they decided to keep it for added realism. In the Disney Channel original movie Camp Rock, starring the Jonas Brothers, Joe Jonas's character Shane falls into a bush while running. According to Demi Lovato, the fall was genuine. In William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, after Friar Lawrence suggests the idea of marriage, Romeo runs out of the church and accidentally crashes into a lamp. This was a genuine accident and kept in. In Zack and Miri Make a Porno, when Zack helps Miri rinse her hair and the shower curtain breaks, causing her to fall, it was a complete accident. In The Bad News Bears, during the Bears' second training montage against the Yankees, Ahmad was supposed to be hit in the head with a baseball. However, Aaron Blunt closed his eyes too soon, causing the ball to hit his groin instead. The scene was done in a single take. Cleveland! Stretcher! Stretcher for what? 